turn over here on our left hand side. We'll just go down here to the next corner and turn to our left and we'll be running up the back of uh, high conditions which will be on our left hand side and as we go around the corner and on our right hand side is the Chinese Embassy. Okay, no forget the design of the building and the roof structure. Very ornamental. Okay, making our way along, there's the British High Commission there. Next door to them are our Kiwi friends. The New Zealanders, don't ask me why they've got tin cows in their backyard. I don't know, and neither does anybody else. Shoots is usually a show associated with New Zealand. Have a Okay, and next door to the New Zealanders are the Canadians. And at the top on our left hand side is the High Commission of Papua New Guinea. Note the different design of the building and the high roof structure. The reason for that being up in Papua New Guinea being at the equator, very, very hot and humid conditions. But first, I'll try and get as much air into the building as possible in an effort to keep the contents inside cool. Now, I'm just going to have to come up here and stop just for a little second so we can get up at this bridge. our way up to here, coming up on our left hand side, you'll see a lovely clean building up the back there, and that's the back side of South Africa House, which belongs to, of course, South Africa, which is part of the Commonwealth. Alright, we will be having a look at the front of the building, we will not do this in future. We we'll just make our keep going along here. Coming up, next door to the Russia, uh, Russians, next door to the South Africans, is the Embassy of Brazil. So uh, just coming up here now, oh, just up this driveway there, and there is the Embassy of Brazil. They have similar schools and colours to Australia. Next door to them, the High Commission of uh, Singapore. Right, so we're going to turn left on this next corner. As we go around the corner on the left hand side is the embassy belonging to Finland. And on our right hand side is the residential area of the embassy belonging to Mexico. So we just 
still moving right along. So there's the Embassy, uh, embassy and Residential of Mexico. Up here on the right hand side is the High Commission of Samoa. And on the left hand side across the road from them is the residential area of the Embassy of Finland. Coming back down to the right hand side, the Embassy of the Arabic State of Burma, or Arabic Republic of Egypt. And across the road, the same time now, people say, well, where's the pyramid? So, and um, across the road here on our left hand side, the Embassy of Indonesia. The largest of all the diplomatic complexes is those across the road from us at the present moment, belonging to the United States of America. Now when we go around the corner, it will be on our right hand side, and it will be on our right hand side for a considerable amount of time. Okay, so that's the we know that's America. So as we're moving up the road and we're coming up on our left hand side, is the embassy of France. They have two flags out front their building because they're part of the European Union. So that blue flag to the yellow stars is the European Union flag. Next door to them, and a relatively new building, it's only four, three years old there, is the High Commission of Pakistan. Yeah, America's still over there. And, and as I said, here's the front of South Africa House. Okay, so let's put in, uh, in the Bore star, and that's B A E R as in Bore, uh, not Bore. And when we come around, we just put the keys on the school curtain. Mm, Bore, not Bore. Anyway. Left hand side, the residential area and the embassy of Turkey. And here we have the main entrance into the United States of America. Once you go through the gate for you in that country. And if you're wondering where the president stays when he comes to here, he moves on here. Um, 24-7 these places? Yes. Okay. Um, down here on the left, just down there, is the High Commission of India. Now we're going to do it off to the left here, and there is some more down to the right, but we haven't, as I say, we haven't got enough time. So as we make our way around to the left here, we can straight across there on the other corner. It's a little or it's the embassy of the little country of Myanmar, which once upon a time was known as Burma. And coming back up towards us and on this next corner is the embassy of Israel. And off to our left hand side here is the embassy of Sweden. That's where Abigail's been, they have any problem. Over here on the left is the Embassy of Poland. We're just making our way down to the corner. On the right hand side is the Embassy and Residential Area of Germany. And across the road from them over here on our left hand side is the, the Residence and Embassy of Greece. Over here on the next corner on the right there is the Embassy of Japan and also the residential areas closer down to the road. As we come up here where the garbage bin is, I'll slow right down that there's a driveway there. If you look up the end of the driveway, you'll see the, the Embassy of Korea. And right next door to them is the Royal Thai Embassy. So we'll start heading back to Lord's Parliament House now for your short visit there. 
Uh, as we turn back onto the main road, we're directly across the road from the Fifty Italian complex, so that's uh, the embassy and also the residential area where the ambassador lives. And uh, ma making our way along, it's not a large complex actually, so... Anyway. The creamy coloured fence with all the trees around it, just beyond that, in the colour bomb colour building, with the green slate roof, roof, the lodge. And the lodge is where the Prime Minister resides when he is in Canberra. Well, that's where he's supposed to, supposed to stay. He gets the option, he doesn't have to stay there if he doesn't want to. Over here on the left hand side is the embassy of the Philippines. So as I say, there is over 100 and complexes uh, here. And that's just a few. We haven't really got enough time to go and make it to all, which is unfortunate. And every day the past is where it stays way back a year ago i've changed for the better this time i thought i would never be fine i strive just to say i'm all right and for the first time in a long time i'm all right I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But I'll be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago So that's it guys, that concludes another episode of our vlog. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and that's it. So, can you, until the next episode of our vlog, I'll see you around. Bye. Be good, be safe, be kind to everyone, have fun, bye.